Today I'm sampling the drum sounds from my Casio Tone 405. This line of Casio Tones includes keyboards like the 301, the 403, the 405, and the Feature Heavy 701. Known for manual bass and Casio chord function, which is similar to Yamaha's chord play function, which is famously used by the band Beach House. I'm going to record some of these beats at their slowest tempo into Logic, so it's easy to chop them up and single out all the hits. There are 12 classic beats and a tempo knob, which gives you a lot of musical options, but no MIDI, so it's nearly impossible to find an exact tempo or record to a click in a DAW. Let's take a quick listen to the 12 beats built into the keyboard. So as you could hear, um, a lot of those sounds have overlapping sounds. For example, the hi-hat and the snare hitting at the same time, the hi-hat and the kick hitting at the same time. So what we want to do is slow down the tempo all the way and try to find as many of these sounds isolated in their beats as possible. Let's record some of these beats and try to figure out where the isolated hits are. So, I have all these beats recorded out onto individual tracks, and I'm just looking for isolated sounds to chop up as Apple loops. So here we have a uh, open hi-hat sound that we should be able to isolate, and I've already got over here a kick, closed hi-hat, same thing, high tom, middle tom. Let's chop this, and we can save this, and we can add to Apple Loops library, save it as 405, let's say open hi-hat, one. And that's it, there it is. So, I found a lone snare hit in the swing pattern, so let's just isolate that. and save this to the Apple Loops library. Snare drum one, just in case we create another. There's our snare. I'm just gonna Bass drum two. Let's see. I also want to get this open hi hat with the snare combo. 
because it has more attack than this other open eye hat. Cool, so now we have two of these. No snare, snare, snare one, snare two. Snare two, honestly, might be a combination of the snare and a lower sound like the kick or a tom. So I just opened up a new track in Logic, and if I go to my loops, all my loops are right here that I just made. Cool, so there's my Casio Tone kit. Um, and so if I open the drum machine designer, I just dragged and dropped these loops that I just made into the various pads of the drum machine designer. Um, the cool thing about this drum machine designer is that you can make a lot of adjustments. There's a filter, pitch, LFOs. Uh, for now, since I have my MIDI keyboard plugged in, um, so this is really cool. We can just pretty much play the Casio tone drums. So some of the really cool things we can do once these are mapped is like map the same sample to two different paths, like this kick, change around like the LFO rate. We can pitch it up or down. We can take this one and pitch it down and have a lower and pretty much do that with as many as we have room for. Um, same thing with the filter here. cut off in resolution so let's just make this like a fat low kick and we can do the same thing like with the snare over here oof pitch that down or up So we can do the same thing over here with this snare and pitch that down Ooh. or up. You can affect it with the filter as well. So we can get some really resonant hats in there. So then that way you can um, save different versions of your kit. So I'll just save this as 405 kit one. Um, but in reality, if I wanted to like pitch some of these down um, and have different versions of them make up a different kit, I could have like any number of kits made out of these same samples. So now that we have this kit built in the drum machine designer, we can hit E and bring up the step sequencer in Logic, which is new and very cool. And yeah, we can just start adding things. As you can see, it brings samples from the drum machine designer automatically down into our step sequencer and we can just start adding things here